Hi, this is Luke and welcome to a new feature I'm going to be running every week, which is my top five apps of the week for Android devices. Uh, I'm just going to get straight into it and I'm going to be showing you this on the Nexus 4, although all of these apps should be compatible with most Android devices and that includes phones and tablets. So first one I'm going to have to get into is the backgrounds application, which is why I've got this bunny as a background. Couldn't resist it. No one can deny how cute it is, so I just went with it. I certainly don't care what people think. So on this app you've got hundreds of thousands of backgrounds. You can browse through popular, recent or go through the categories. And it's a really simple one, but I'm not going to be going through all brand new apps in this first week. But um, I'm just going to be recapping a load of useful ones. Now you can see that's a pretty cool background. I would happily have that. But I love my bunny too much, I'm not going to lie. So I'm not going to flick through obviously every page of this, but as you can see, it's quite a useful one if you like customising your phone, which is something I've done with a number of things that I'm going to show you in this run through. So another thing is the Apex launcher that I'm using. You can find it on the Play Store, but I'm using it in conjunction with a load of other things. But the Apex launcher I've just found the neatest. It's not overly simple, so I wouldn't advise it for beginners, but certainly I'm only a novice, so for novice users of Android and up, get the Apex Launcher, you can do all sorts of things. I've, I've removed the uh, app drawer at the bottom, so I've just got six set apps that feature on both pages at the bottom there. And I've moved pretty much everything off my pages other than a widget or two. And then I've added gestures as well, so I can swipe up to get to my menu. And my key things across the bottom, so it's not too hard to navigate, but that's the Apex Launcher which can be found on the App Store and I found it really useful and enjoyable customising my phone, do that quite a lot now. Another one to customise your phone is Android Pro Widgets, APW, and inside here you've got loads of different things that you can add widgets to your screen. So you can see I've got calendars, uh, people, bookmarks, messaging, Facebook, Twitter, Google Reader, Quick Event, loads of different things, you can add them all shapes and sizes to your background. You can see I've got a Twitter one here, which is really useful. You can just refresh your Twitter feed at the click of a button, and you don't have to go into it, and it updates pretty quickly as well. Set tweets, upload photos, anything you would normally do. It doesn't show you retweets if you get if you get retweeted. Sorry, it does show retweets from other people, which is only a slight downside to the app. Another really good one, if you're a football fan or a soccer fan, shall I say, is ESPN Goals. This is, uh, I believe this is only a UK based app, so sorry if you're watching from the US, but every single time there's a match on, just an hour or two after the match, you can watch all the goals from any Premier League match, which is really, really useful, as I'm sure you'll agree. Finally, on this, we've got, oh sorry, I'm going to include two more, SwiftKey 3, really simple one, a lot of you will have heard of SwiftKey, but it's definitely the best keyboard I've used and it just allows you to personalize your keyboard a lot. You can type easily, it'll give you personalization, it'll predict what word you use, it'll autocorrect really well, and it gets to learn your typing style as you go along, so it'll automatically predict words for you based on what you quite often type. And a game for you all now, World's Hardest Game, it's kind of says what it is in the title. A lot of you will have played this, I'm sure, but there's a simple format to it, but it is so addictive, it's a really addictive game and I'm unfortunately not very good at it, but it's one that a lot of you will get hooked to I'm sure. It's quite hard to play it through a camera, but I'm dying over and over as you can see. And it's just a case of navigating the dot. I'm just going to try and complete this level, see if I can actually do it, but I've done it before. But no, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to complete it on this video. I appear to be completely rubbish, which I am. There we go, done it. So that is one of the most addictive games you'll find on the App Store. And if you found this useful at all, I can say it's not brand new apps for this first week. But every week coming up, there should be new apps all included. And I'll try and do one every week. So if you found this useful, then please like. Uh, let me know some comments in the bot. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you know any good apps that I should review, and uh, please subscribe to my channel to check in regularly with this. Keep updated with all the best apps every week. Thanks for watching.